A very good evening to all my viewers. So in this year's NEET PG 2025, there was a very uh, important question about the probable signs of pregnancy. So they had indirectly tested your knowledge whether you know that it is a probable sign of pregnancy. So they had given a case-based scenario in which they had given the various symptoms of pregnancy like linea nigra, engorged breast, pontocumary tubercles and uterus was enlarged. But along with that, they had given a very, very important finding that there was a bluish discoloration of vagina. So this points that it was a probable sign of pregnancy, which they had asked. So let's dive deep into the probable signs of pregnancy. I am Dr. Sonali Jagadi, Senior Resident of Zingaini at SCB Medical College and Hospital, Katak, having secured an All India rank of 3546 in EPG 2021. So, probable signs of pregnancy. First, we learn is the PABA sign. Now, I have arranged it in the chronological order. So, what is PABA sign? PABA sign is the rhythmic uterine contraction which is uh, felt at 4 to 8 weeks. Okay, so this is the regular and rhythmic contra uterine contraction which can be elicited during my manual examination as early as 4 to 8 weeks. Next is the Godel sign. Godel sign is when the cervix has become soft. Okay, so it becomes soft uh, and it may uh, be seen as early as 6 weeks. Remember that it may be a little earlier in the case of multi-para. So a pregnant cervix is, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, the texture or the feel is like the uh, softness of the lips. Whereas a non-pregnant cervix, the uh, feeling is like the tip of the nose. So this is how we describe the softness. So Godel sign is the softening of the cervix which can be felt as early as 6 weeks. Next is your Hagar sign. Now what is Hagar sign? Hagar sign is seen as early as 6 to 10 weeks. This is uh, when, the, when you do a bimanual examination that is your two fingers will be uh, doing a pervictinal examination felt in the anterior fornix and your other hand will be behind the uh, fundus of the uterus per abdomen and when you try to oppose them the isthmus will be very soft and the wise Hagar sign seen is this because the upper part of the body of the uterus is enlarged and is uh, by the growing fetus but the cervix is relatively firm. Because of the variation in the consistency you will find that on bimanual examination the two fingers both abdominal and vaginal fingers will try to oppose. But remember that all these examinations should be performed very gently uh, in the first trimester. Okay. Next is the Piscacic sign. Piscacic sign is the, uh, there will be an asymmetrical enlargement of the uterus in the early part of the pregnancy. This is because of the lateral implantation of the fetus. Next is the Chadwick sign or the Jacquema sign which was asked in this year's NEET PG 2025. Okay. So this is very very important because this sign is uh, exactly mentioned in the Williams 26th edition also. This can be seen as early as 8 weeks and this is the bluish uh, discoloration of the vagina and the anterior vestibule. This is also described as the dusky hue of the vestibule and the anterior vaginal wall uh, seen at about 8 weeks and this is uh, seen due to the local vascular congestion. I have also just uh, brought about the other sign that is the Hartman sign. This is nothing but the slight amount of bleeding that uh, or spotting which happens during implantation. Next is the Oceander sign. Oceander sign is the uh, pulsations which are felt in the lateral fornix which happens around 8th week because of the increased vascularity you can feel the uh, pulsations of the vessels in the lateral fornix. So these are the very important signs of early pregnancy and in that you have to remember Godel sign, Hagar sign, Chadwick sign, also known as the Jacquema sign. These are the probable signs of pregnancy. In that also remember that the positive pregnancy test, ballotment, uh, these are also uh, included under the probable signs of pregnancy. This is a very very important topic as far as NEET PG or INICT is concerned. 
and very important for the residents to know because uh, you will be dealing day in and day out doing PV examination. So you should be very gentle and you should also uh, know what is physiological and uh, what is abnormal. That's all for today. Have a great day ahead.